Hey friend, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you everything I eat in a day to fill my body and my soul. I'm going to share some easy and healthy, balanced, nutritional, delicious recipes that I think you're going to love. And hopefully I can just give you some meal inspiration. I like to think of my diet as quite balanced, non-restrictive and all-inclusive. And that is what I define as health. So these recipes I find healthy because they are balanced, they are nutritional and they are delicious. So it's already 5 to 11, quite a late start. So I'm gonna get started on breakfast. I don't actually have a lot of food in my fridge. I really need to go shopping, which I'm gonna do this afternoon. But for now I'll make do with what I have and I'm gonna go foraging in the garden to see what we can find. Let's go. So I got myself a giant marrow courgette zucchini, whatever you want to call it. And I've decided I'm going to make some pizza baked oats. <laughs> Don't look until you try it. I like to start my day with a savoury breakfast. So this is kind of like a breakfast recipe, but also you can have it for lunch. You can even have it for dinner if you like. I think it's going to work perfect for the ingredients that I have. Here's a little sneak peek of my pizza baked oats. I highly recommend you try this. So I found some old spinach in my fridge, so I just chopped that up and then I grabbed my massive zucchini. And I didn't use the whole thing, obviously. <laughs> um, I just chopped off a decent sized chunk and then I grated that. You can use any vegetables in this, anything that you have in your fridge, mushrooms, tomatoes, onion, whatever you have. And then for the oats, so I just blended some oats up to make some oat flour. But if you have oat flour, you can just use that. And then I added that to my bowl. And this was 50 grams of that, half a teaspoon of baking powder, some salt and some dry basil. You can use any herbs that you have. Just mix it up so that the baking powder is equally distributed. Add in an egg and then you can add some water or milk and some tomato paste, tomato puree. Mix that all up until combined and then add in your vegetables and mix that all up. This is what the consistency should look like. And now grab a bowl and make sure it's greased. I use some cooking spray and then transfer your mixture into there. Add some more tomato paste on top and then just spread that around and then of course you're gonna need some cheese because it is pizza after all. This was grated mozzarella and I added a good amount on there. <laughs> Measure with your heart and this I baked in the air fryer. This only went in for like five minutes. I also got some plums however they might have worms in them, so we'll see if we can have them. So I've got my pizza baked oats and my plums, and I'm just gonna enjoy this now because I'm starving. Rabbit. Taste test. So good. After breakfast, it is time for some coffee. I can't go a day without coffee, but I have changed my habit from having three coffees a day to having one, maybe two coffees. And I also wait until after breakfast to have my coffee so that my body doesn't suffer from a caffeine spike. And I had a little bit of milk in my coffee because it is delicious. So I've decided to make a little snack it slash dessert for later and I've been craving Milanese shortbreads so I'm going to make a healthier high protein Milanese shortbread cup thing. <laughs> I have made something similar before but not high protein so I'm going to make the recipe up as I go and hopefully it'll turn out great. So 
Well, let's go. So for these high protein millionaire shortbread cup things, I start with some oat flour, which is again just blended oats, and then vegan vanilla protein powder. I always use vegan protein powder in my baking because it keeps the mixture nice and thick. And then I added some maple syrup and water because I was running low on milk, but you can use milk as well. Place this on your baking scale and set it to zero and then weigh out 31 to 32 grams and place that in a silicone mold or you can make it in a loaf tin if you want to make bars as well. Press that in tightly and then for the caramel filling you're going to combine some peanut butter, maple syrup and melted coconut oil and it turns into this delicious caramel consistency and oh my gosh I could just eat it with a spoon. Divide the mixture onto your shortbread crusts and then grab some chocolate and some coconut oil and then melt this until silky smooth. Pour this on top of the caramel layers and then you're going to pop this in the fridge until set. For lunch I had a blueberry smoothie bowl but unfortunately the footage is corrupt so here is the end product. I'll leave the recipe in the description box. Absolutely love having a smoothie bowl for lunch because you can get so many veg and fruit and protein and it's just so good. My millionaire protein cups are ready so I'm gonna give it a little taste test. This is exactly what I needed. <laughs> so for supper, I'm making a recipe from a cookbook. I very rarely do this because usually I'm working on my own recipes and I don't really have time to make other people's recipes. But when I do, I always enjoy it so much because it's a lot less thinking and just enjoying the actual cooking process. So this cookbook is Dinner at Holes. It's by Hollywood. It's a girl I follow on Instagram. So it's quick and easy recipes for delicious family dinners. I'm making dinner for myself and my aunt and uncle. So I'm really excited. I'm making, I am making, this is what I'm making. Thai inspired salmon curry. Sounds and looks delicious. So I'm just gonna go to the shop and buy a few ingredients and then gonna get cooking. So to make this curry, you start by frying off an onion in some olive oil, then add some ginger paste and some garlic paste. And you cook it until the onions are soft and it's all combined. And then you're gonna add your herbs, so it's lemongrass, lime leaves, some salt, ground coriander, cumin, and turmeric and then you cook that up for a few minutes and then you add chicken or fish stock and some coconut milk. Leave that to simmer for a few minutes and then add in green beans and some salmon fillets and then this just goes on for around four minutes until the salmon is nice and flaky. Top with some coriander and that's it. This was so delicious and also really easy to make. I always end my night with something sweet so I had another of my millionaire shortbreads and some tea.